Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. This weekend, the last of the Harry Potter movies hits theaters. Time to find out why Sean McBride, the movie guy, thinks this will be the big hit of the summer. The Hunterdicker would need the hero Pooh Bear, and I'm the only one. There's a new Winnie the Pooh movie in theaters, but with my apologies, there's really only one movie to talk about this week, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die. This is the last of eight wonderful Harry Potter movies, and it's all leading up to the climactic showdown between the boy wizard and the evil Lord Voldemort. Harry and his friends are doomed to fail, unless they can track down the last of the Horcruxes, the magical items where Lord Voldemort has hidden pieces of his soul. He's angry and scared too. He knows if we find and destroy all the Horcruxes, we'll be able to kill him. I reckon he'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't find the rest. Unlike the previous film, this last Harry Potter is all about the final battle between good and evil. And it's sad to see the grand fantasy come to a close. We will certainly all miss Harry Potter and his Hogwarts friends. I know I've had a great time. Um, I know I'll miss it. I know I'll miss my friends. I know that I can't quite comprehend of a world in which this isn't part of my life. And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Charming Bride, the movie guy for ETV. All right, Harry Potter, tell me about it. Yeah, I, and I wish I could because we pre taped this show, <laughs> folks, so I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but, you know, watch KBOI 2 News uh, Friday morning and we'll have the full review at that point. It looks wonderful. Um, quite frankly, I think all of the Harry Potter movies have been very well done. I can't think of another series that has had eight films that were so good. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, I think, was great all the way through, but that's three films. So. Right. So, Sounds Harry good. Potter, and we won't even talk about Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> okay. Awesome. What about the flicks? Hey, over at the flicks, they have a great lineup still. Uh, Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris and uh, Terrence Malick's The Tree of Life. Both films will probably make my top ten list at the end of the year. New this week is Submarine, a uh, coming-of-age indie drama about a boy who's trying to lose his virginity and also trying to deal with his oddball family. It stars Sally Hawkins, Patty Considine, and it's the debut film from actor-slash-comedian Richard Iode. Uh, pretty good stuff. New on DVD, we finally have some good stuff to talk about. The best of the bunch is Rango, a wonderful, uh, surprisingly wonderful animated gem with Johnny Depp. He plays a lizard who gets abandoned in the desert and walks right into a Wild West town. And from there, the movie turns into Chinatown, the movie, uh, and the lizard's dealing with the bad guys and whoever it is that's cutting off the town's water supply. Really, uh, you know, Rango is just a lot of fun for both kids and adults. And local theater? Uh, the new one this week is Messiah on the Frigidaire, a comedy over at Stagecoach Theater. It's the story of some folks in a southern trailer park. Uh, something that looks like the image of Jesus appears on the refrigerator, and so the faithful come a-flocking to see the miracle. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. fun. It's playing at Stagecoach, uh, but at their temporary home at the Idaho Outdoor Association at 3401 Brazil Street. Uh, they will be moving into the new home on Emerald permanently when they start the new season, uh, but not quite yet. Messiah on the Frigidaire, tickets and information at 3422000 or stagecoachtheater.com. Uh, Idaho Shakespeare Festival, still going strong. The Candor and Ebb musical Cabaret has opened. Uh, that's playing in repertory through the end of August. You can get tickets at 3369221 or go to idahoshakespeare.org. Uh, and speaking of repertory, the Idaho Shakespeare Festival, the Two Gentlemen of Verona is still running through the July 29th, and the complete works of William Shakespeare Abridged goes through July 20th. I've seen both of these shows, both very good. Only a little time left if you want to see them. Uh, Knock'em Dead Theater has the, has the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, one of my favorite shows. Uh, it's a musical comedy about a group of kids dealing with the pressure of a school spelling bee. Uh, this is one of those shows that's really more for the grown-ups. Uh, a lot of fun, though. Check us information at 385-0021 or go to kedproductions.org. More repertory theater. Starlight Mountain Theater has High School Musical, Singing in the Rain, and How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Uh, that's going through the summer. You can get the calendar at uh, starlightmt.org or call 462-5523. And uh, last but certainly not least, Scott Glenn and Sam Shepard will participate in a, in a uh, performance of Sham Shepard's play, Ages of the Moon, over at the Egyptian Theater on July 28th. Uh, this is sort of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see both of these actors on stage in Boise. Both guys work primarily in film these days, so um, getting them on stage is something of a rarity. Kind of a cool chance to see both 
of these actors in person over at the Egyptian. Thanks for the updates there, Sean. Mm -hmm. We'll look forward to a great week ahead. Stick around, more ETV coming up next.